Hello, my name is Tom Chatham. I'm president of Chatham Created Gems in San Francisco. I want to talk to you today about Ruby, Created Ruby. If it's red, it's called a ruby. If it's any other color, it's called a sapphire. There are basically three different types. There's flame fusion. There is Tchaikovsky or pulled type of sapphire. And there's the flux grown sapphire. The crystal structure in a flame fusion ruby or a pulled ruby and sapphire is very disoriented because of the way it was made. Now this is the way it formed and it looks like glass. It is not a natural crystal face. This is a flux grown ruby. Chatham is the pioneer in this particular area. It takes eight months to grow this crystal and it is identical to the natural ruby or sapphire. Legally People can call this a created ruby or sapphire, depending upon the color. Gemologically speaking, it is not the same at all. In the flame fusion, sapphire, it basically can melt the constituents of what corundum the mineral sapphire is made out of. And you can melt it and achieve something that is similar to the naturally occurring stone. It has some of the characteristics. It's very inexpensive. It's very easy to make. It costs about a penny a carat. It takes about an hour to make. It doesn't look like a natural ruby or sapphire. It doesn't test as a natural ruby or sapphire. The flux grown ruby and sapphire takes eight to 10 months to grow. And what we've done is duplicated the conditions that we think exist deep in the earth. We stand back and nature grows this crystal. Now, this hasn't been cut and polished to look like this. This is the way it would look if it was found in the earth. Usually not so nice on the outside, but the internal structure is identical. And it is a process that can't be hurried. And it takes an expert gemologist to separate the flux grown sapphire or ruby from the natural. The advantage of using the flux grown sapphire or ruby is it because the structure is identical, you get the same brilliance, the same reflection of light from the crystal structure. That is what made emeralds, rubies, sapphires so attractive to people in the first place. If you just want a colored stone, flame fusion or glass would be sufficient. But as you know, when you see a piece of colored glass, it doesn't look like a gemstone. So. The answer is Chatham, the only company in the world that grows a flex-grown sapphire.